Johnny. Johnny is a fine young man, but deep inside he holds a secret. Johnny wants to be a fop dandy. Little does he know that his wish is about to come true. Let's meet Johnny. Hi, Johnny. How are you today? Whoa, Johnny. It's just me, the narrator. Did I scare you? I'd say that's more than a little scared. Well, Johnny, I'm here to show you how to become a bona fide fop dandy. Do you want to be a fop dandy? Then let's get started. All right, Johnny, the first thing we need to do is get you some new clothes. To begin, let's try a new shirt. There's a good start. Every fop dandy needs a tight-fitting t-shirt to make him look even more skinny and gawky than he already is. Let's keep moving. Nice, Johnny. Now, the shoes. There's nothing like a pair of capri pants and ankle socks to show off your freshly shaven legs. Now let's lose the glasses. And we're well on our way. One of the most daunting tasks for the fop dandy is finding the perfect girl. Luckily, if you narrow your search to those who grew up in Ohio, have a love of the arts, and don't eat meat... There we go. What a beauty. Although every man seeks qualities such as kindness, intelligence, and sense of humor in future mates, the fop dandy needs a few more traits in his potential wife. Let's see what these qualities are. The ability to sleep with a heavy mouth breather. A love of bikes approaching the fop dandies. And an unbelievable amount of patience for endless annoying behavior. Wow, Johnny, that was quick. As I'm sure you've discovered, the birthing process can be a rewarding yet stressful time for the fop dandy. And not just for you, Johnny. How are you, Mom-to-be? Now, Johnny, remember to encourage your wife through the whole process, and if need be, promise to never do this to her again. Don't worry, Johnny. With the pain medicine she's been given and excruciating pain she's experiencing, she probably won't remember a word you say. All right, the time's almost here. Ready, Johnny? Ready, Mom? Ready, Doc? Okay, then. Push, woman. Push. Nice catch, Doc. And here are the proud new parents. I bet you two are glad that's over. Do you mind if we take a look at the new addition? What a beautiful little girl. Well, Johnny, you've come a long way. 
there's just one last thing that every fop dandy needs to know. That's how to dance. To show you how, we'll use the help of Danny and David. Let's begin. For the fop dandy, dance can be broken down into these simple steps. First, make your face look as if you've just smelled something horrible. Next, with one arm, point to the sky as if trying to identify a UFO. Now, put one foot forward and stomp your heel. There we go, that's all the basics. Now all you have to do is nod your head and move around the room. Just remember, pay absolutely no attention to the beat of the music as you dance. Well, Mr. and Mrs., it looks like you're well on your way to a fop dandy life. Your lovely bride will always be there for you, but never forget your friends and family will always be there too. Except Nick and Jason. <laughs>